Hello. Ascend. Be more than you are, if even for a moment. We can all become more, and we all can have a real impact upon our world. The potential for greatness is within us all. That is the principle of ascendance. All the greats of history were just normal people with normal problems just like everybody here. They suffered the same jealousies, the same selfishness, the same pain, and the same rage we all do. They are also like us in that they succeed in some of what they do, and they fail miserably at other things they attempt. For example, according to Biography.com, Einstein did not even speak until he was four years old, and didn't start reading until he was age seven. Which of course caused his parents and teachers to think that he was mentally handicapped. He was even expelled from school at one point. Another example, from the same source, Abraham Lincoln, who is remembered as one of the greatest leaders in American history. He went to war a captain and came back from war a private. He started many businesses that failed and ran for office many times and was always defeated. Both Einstein and Lincoln overcame their failures and hardships to, become, to achieve greatness. Often, becoming great is a matter of just choosing the right action at the right time and place. Biography.com gives a great example of this also. On February 4th, 1913, Rosa Parks ascended when she refused to surrender her seat on the bus and spurred a movement that led to the end of segregation. When the time came, Rosa Parks seized upon the opportunity that was available to her to correct a societal wrong, and even if just only for a moment, she became much more than what her place in society at the time defined for her. The expectation that a person is born great and lives their whole lives in that state is a false one. To use Biography.com's History of Lincoln again as an example, Abraham Lincoln was born a frontier farmer and he taught himself how to read and write. All while his family moved around quite a bit due to land ownership disagreements. Some of those who achieved greatness are not even remembered much, but that makes their contribution to our world no less meaningful. As can be verified from AmericanRevolution.com, there once was a man named Joseph Warren, who is perhaps one of the bravest men in American history. And he was highly celebrated during his time, but he has mostly disappeared from the history books today. He personally, and almost completely alone, stopped three breaches on Breed's Hill by the British during the Battle of Bunker, Bunker Hill. It matters little if only a few or the whole world knows what you have done. The person who has achieved ascendance will know and that should be enough. The point of all my rambling is this. Look around you. Feel the anger rising in our society Feel the pain of those who are suffering injustice. Try to understand the sorrows that drowned us all. Our world needs more people to ascend to greatness. If no one rises, we all will fall. Never doubt that any one of us can affect change. Recognize no limits. As long as we never tr stop trying to improve ourselves and our world, we are all capable of surpassing our limitations and becoming more. We can all send to greatness. Now here's my list of sources and the pictures are credited on the slides. Thank you for coming and listening to me speak today. May you always try to be more. I throw out this sword. Okay, you can stop. Oh, no. <laughs>